I think it's up to my generation to make it or break it. So I think it's really cool that so many people are interested in trying to do a difference and save the ocean. My expectation is to have a lot of fun and learn a lot. Do some good science and hopefully not find too much plastic. We all know that microplastic is in the ocean, but I feel like if you really see it, it's something else. And I, I just want to see how dramatic it is. I arrived to, to this beautiful boat. It's incredible. I'm really looking forward to being out on, on the sea. I'm nervous, but I'm super excited because I've never sailed before. I've been on boats before, but never for such a long period of time. I'm just excited. I'm sure it's going to be great. Uh, I'm just hoping to see a whale. <laughs> I don't expect him to come our way, but I, I really hope that I finally meet this beautiful creature. Ocean Missions is a non-profit organization and it was uh, established in 2019 in uh, Husavik, Iceland. Or the main purpose of the NGO is to inspire people because we believe that with inspiration change can be made. And basically we want to involve everyone to make their contribution. We believe that scientists play a, a very big role in this but the general public as well. So we need to join forces and act all together. For me, it's important to also inspire others because a lot of my friends and people in my surroundings are scared to get out of their comfort zone and spread the word about the problems in the oceans and marine life. It's only day one, we've literally just started the trip and there's like humpback whales all over the place. It's truly magical. Uh, this is just the beginning, so it's gonna be, it's, it's epic. I can't even believe like this is happening and we get to experience it. It's just so amazing. I, I don't even have the words to describe it right now. How's the treasure hunt going? Well, we went to clean a beach that we have cleaned previously, I think eight months ago. When you first look at it, you think, oh, it's beautiful and clean now, and we're so happy about that. And then we started walking our 100 meter survey, and it just turned out that we collected over 350 kilograms of trash off the beach, and most of it was a lot of fishing gear. And so once you start looking a little bit closer, it's always coming back, unfortunately. So it really looks like a, like a tree root system, actually, but it's just fishing gear. Oh, so it's so much more than you I understand why they call it a mission now. To see remote beaches, scattered with plastic and all the garbage that um, touches you. I live next to the coast, so there's some really beautiful marine environments. And when I heard how bad the plastic pollution had gotten, I realized that I don't know how much longer those coastal environments will last and that really made me sad to think that I could maybe move away and visit my hometown again and they might not be there. And a lot of people only see these beautiful environments through TV, maybe they've never even seen the ocean and I just feel that I want to be a part of this and I really want to help preserve these for a long time to last. I definitely think that slow travel and traveling with 
a purpose is the future. I think that more people are becoming aware of their impact on the environment and on the oceans, and that when they want to travel to beautiful places, why wouldn't they want to make a difference and participate in something that is good for the environment and good for them to learn also. We need everybody in the same boat, so to speak. So you need this conversation to include as many people as possible. And that's kind of what I would like to be able to do with this Ocean Missions project. If individual awareness uh, grows and increases and everyone becomes more sustainable in daily behavior, this is how this critical mass uh, wins eventually. And this is how we can make a positive change in the world, I think. Uh, rather than waiting for things to happen, I think we should just start by ourselves. And this is how we change our own reality. We can start small and hopefully it, it grows bigger. The more you know about our planet, the more you'll love it and you protect what you love. <laughs>